Hey guys, today we're going to talk about SB3 Vortex two-year ceramic coating for your wheels. We're going to put it on this 2019 Porsche GT3 RS. I'm going to show you how to do it. I know a lot of people struggle with Vortex, uh, but I'm going to show you the right way. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that help your, helps your install out. All right, like I promised, I'm going to show you how to do this SB3 Vortex install. So I keep these wheel covers on custom logo printed from a buddy of mine at dirty-tools.com he makes these but we keep these on the car even paint correction clear bra you name it i don't want the wheels getting dirty after i've already washed the car either by compound dust or doing clear bra so i'm going to take this off our wheels are already clean because we cleaned it as part of this clear bra installation so just like any other ceramic coating we have to at least do a panel prep. You know, we use SB3 ready. So I'm gonna panel prep this wheel. All right, so now the wheels are cleaned with panel prep and I tell you, we do that all the time and that's to make sure that the coating adheres to the surface. So SB3 ready, that's what we use for that. So the biggest concern that people have with SB3 Vortex um, that I've seen on installers is it is a harder, I guess you could say, coating to apply, but it's not that hard if we break it down correctly. The reason wheel coatings are, are always harder to apply than paint specific coatings is because it's a stronger compound or a stronger chemical compound. And so, you know, they, they tend to be a little bit more difficult to work with, but I'm here to tell you that SB3 Vortex is probably the easiest wheel coating that I've applied. So, you saw me do it already, but like I always mention in videos, dust off the top. And what we like to do is we like to break the wheel down into sections. So it's 78 degrees and 39% humidity in here. It's a little bit warmer for, for a PPF install, uh, but we like to break it down in sections. And typically what we'll do is, you know, about a third of the wheel, maybe from here to here. And then, you know, from this side down to here and this side down to here. So breaking it into those sections is a shorter work time than if you try to do the whole entire wheel and then come back, it may be a little bit more difficult to level the coating. So I'm gonna load up the pad just like I always do in all these videos uh, with Vortex. And you know we're gonna coat it on there. Now, one other thing that people could be doing, it's always hard to tell without being there, one thing that people could be doing is you could be using too much product. So remember that ceramic coating is a nano coating. You only need to have enough to cover the surface. You don't have to load it to the point where the wheel is soaking wet. If you put too much product on, and this goes for pretty much any ceramic coating, but especially if you're talking about wheels, you could find yourself with uh, a more difficult wipe. All right, so about a minute is what we're gonna wait. All right, we got a minute. That was a long wait for me, but probably not for you because it's sped up. All right, so now we're gonna level it. You can kind of see it streaked. So you can see where the coating is, at least on my end, you probably won't be able to see it on camera, but I always recommend an inspection light, especially for wheels. And the reason, wheels are a little bit more crucial you gotta be a little bit more cautious with wheels is if you make a mistake it's a lot harder to fix on these intricate surfaces it's you know it's hard to get a polisher on here and you know for these we for wheels that are satin or matte you can't polish them anyway so you got to get it right the first time and this is coming right off so like i said 78 77 degrees 39 percent humidity Okay, so we're back. It's been over a minute. Uh, I can still see what I can see where I put the coating on. I always go back one spoke. It's just a security for me. So I started at the face of this, but I went back here. All right, that's simple. If the conditions are right. You can see how you can apply this, wait a minute, flash time, 
uh, and, and wipe off. Like I said, we did this kind of almost in, so we split it almost in half, but if you, if you need to, um, you know, split it into thirds or, or even less if, if you have to. And now I'm going to show you a time-based demonstration on how much time you feasibly have to work with the coating. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to show you Vortex on my own personal BMW i8 gloss black wheel. I'm going to coat a few spokes and I'm going to wipe off and I'm going to level at the one minute, the two minute, and the five minute mark. And we're going to see how easy it is to wipe off these spokes in pretty good conditions. It's 73 degrees and 40% humidity now. Um, so we'll, we'll show you what that looks like. So I'm only going to do the exterior surfaces of these wheels. All right, so I'm going to start my stopwatch here and we'll just hang tight for a short bit of time until it's ready to go. So one minute, two minute and five minute. Now, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I will say it is starting to rainbow already. So it does flash a little bit faster than your other coatings. All right, so we're coming up here on one minute and we're gonna wipe this one off and see how easy it comes off. So it's been rainbowed for a good 30 seconds or so, but I'll tell you that here in these conditions, it comes pretty much right off, no issue. All right, coming up here on the two minute mark, and we're gonna level this one as well. Now I'll tell you on another test that I did a while back with maybe a five to 10 degrees warmer in here, the two minutes started to become quite difficult. But at this temperature, it's still coming off pretty easy, a little bit more effort, uh, but not that much. All right, so we just hit the five minute mark. We're gonna try to level this off of our spoke. So it definitely does not come off as easily. Uh, it did level some, but we got like a, like a milky looking streak here. Um, so I'm just gonna take this tiny little bit of flyover. So there you have it, even at the five minute, now we're at six minute, but even at the five minute mark, we can still get SB3 Vortex off the wheels. Um, we probably could have done it if we scrubbed a little bit harder, but we don't want to damage the black painted surface. So uh, we did a little sp spritz of flyover, come right off. I still think it's probably the best and easiest coating to use on wheels, even though it's a little bit more difficult than what we're used to with the rest of the SP3 line, uh, but that's typical of a wheel coating. So you're gonna get that same hydrophobic, chemical resistance, UV resistance, uh, brake dust is gonna come off a lot easier. Uh, all of my race car guys, track guys, they love having Vortex on their wheels because it makes the brake dust and track days so much easier to clean up. So SB3 Vortex, two year real ceramic coating and a nice demonstration and how to for you guys. Hopefully this helps you with your installs.